What is he running from? In June 2014, Lars Matank was on vacation with friends in Bulgaria. On the day he was supposed to fly home, he dropped his stuff and ran out of the airport. Why? No one knows. But he hasn't been seen since. As bizarre as this sounds, it gets even stranger. Let's recap. Hey, thanks for watching True Crime Recaps. I'm Amy. On July 8th, 2014, security cameras caught 28-year-old Lars Matank walking calmly into a Bulgarian airport to catch his flight home to Germany. He looks like a typical tourist. He's wearing a t-shirt, shorts, carrying a backpack and duffel bag. But then he suddenly runs out of the terminal without his bags, like someone's chasing him, but no one's following him. He stops outside the main entrance for a quick second before he runs across the parking lot, climbs over an eight-foot security fence and disappears into the trees. And that was the last time anyone saw Lars Matank. What the? It all started on June 30th, 2014, when Lars and a group of friends touched down in the Bulgarian city of Varna for a week-long vacation on the Black Sea. The group checked into the Viva Club Hotel at the Golden Sands Beach Resort. Now, the Golden Sands is Bulgaria's party destination. The days passed in a blur of sun, sand, and cheap booze. On July 6th, their last night of vacation, the group went to a bar to watch the World Cup semifinals. That's when an argument broke out between Lars and some other German soccer fans. You know how it goes. They're rooting for opposing teams and too many beers can take things too far. Well, eventually Lars' group left. They went to eat, but Lars said he wasn't hungry. He was going to see them back at the hotel, except he wasn't there when they got back. Early the next morning, Lars showed up with a wild story. He got jumped on his way back to the hotel by some locals the German soccer fans allegedly hired to beat him up. His jaw and ear were hurting so badly he could hardly hear. So he went to the doctor. The diagnosis? His eardrum was ruptured by the beating. The doc wrote him a prescription for Cefiroxam 500, an antibiotic to prevent infection, but the injury meant that he couldn't fly home that day. The doctor told him that it wouldn't be safe because of the pressure on his ears from the elevation. So his friends offered to stay in Varna with him, but Lars told them, no, just go home, it'll be fine. One friend, Paul Roman, would later tell German television Lars was relaxed, in a good mood when they left him. It's at this point that our story begins to take an ominous turn. Having checked out of the hotel at the Golden Sands Beach Resort, Lars checked into a cheaper hotel closer to the airport on July 7th, the Hotel Calor. Then things got weird. It's been reported that security cameras at the Hotel Calor caught Lars pacing up and down in the lobby, hiding in an elevator and looking out the windows. Allegedly, around 1 a.m., he left the hotel for parts unknown. Around that same time, Lars called his mother in a panic, telling telling her four men were following him, wanting to kill him. He was like whispering, he's hiding. He's told her to cancel his bank card. He suspected that someone from the hotel stole the number. And that was just one of several calls and messages between Lars and his mother, Sandra. With each conversation, he got more and more paranoid about his safety. He even asked Sandra about an ingredient in his antibiotic, Cefprozil. On July 8th, early in the morning, Lars takes a taxi to the Varna airport. While he's on the phone with his mother, she tells him to go and check in at the airport doctor's office. The airport doctor describes him as being nervous and erratic because when a construction worker enters the room, Lars stands up and blurts out, I don't want to die here. I have to get out of here. And he runs out, leaving behind his wallet, his passport, his luggage, and his phone. He runs across the terminal and out of the airport. An airport security camera catches him scaling the fence, disappearing into the trees, and that is the last that we've seen of Lars. Now, there are a lot of theories about Lars' disappearance. Given his behavior, some people think he might have had a mental breakdown, but his family says he has no history of mental illness. Others believe Lars planned his disappearance. But if that was true, why would he leave all his stuff in the doctor's office? Speaking of the doctor, could antibiotics have brought on this kind of reaction? Well, WebMD says hallucinations are a rare side effect of Cefprozil, so are confusion and agitation. 
Did the fight on July 6th leave him with brain damage? If so, the doctor didn't catch it when he diagnosed the ruptured eardrum. Was he on drugs? Doubtful. His friends and family say he never touched the stuff. Did he take his own life? It's possible, of course. Anything's possible. But Lars had a serious girlfriend and a good job waiting for him in Germany. Why would his thoughts take such a dark turn? Lars' mother, Sandra, has not given up on her son. She hired a private investigator to investigate Lars' case in Bulgaria. She thinks he might have amnesia and can't find his way home. Solid clues to his whereabouts have been few and far between. In 2019, a truck driver picked up a hitchhiker outside the German city of Dresden and took him to Brandenburg near Berlin. The trucker later found out about the Lars Matang case and he said that the hitchhiker he picked up looked like an older version of Lars if he'd lost weight and looked more gaunt. The following year, in 2020, Sandra got a photo of a homeless man bathing in the Rhine River in Dusseldorf. She followed up immediately, but it wasn't her son. There have also been sightings of men who looked like Lars in Brazil and Colombia, but so far, none have been proven to be the missing man. What do you think happened to Lars Matank? And that's your recap. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like getting all the crime in half the time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a story. We're here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but don't go away. Catch up on more recaps right here, right now. Until next time, take care.